kind of cool to catch them in the net. Ooh, okay. We got a killifish. That is a sailfin molly. Oh, wow. Got a little pregnant, pregnant mama. Pretty sure this is an invasive cichlid species. You can see them kind of all moving. Guys, this is turning out to be freaking quite the day. It's the beginning of springtime here in Florida. It's beautiful out. Got some new places to explore. Let's social distance ourselves from the fish cave and get outside. If you're brand new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button and join the fish cave crew. We're almost 25K strong. I usually close with this, but I want to start with it today. Stay positive and stay passionate. In times like these, it's even more important to, you know, appreciate our loved ones, enjoy the things we enjoy doing, and, and be safe out there. Excited to get into this lake. It looks like it's a little low right now. Actually, where I'm kneeling um, is where the lake should be. Um, we came fairly prepared, but uh, I did forget bait for the trap. So we probably won't get much use out of the trap today, uh, but we have our net, we have our bucket with a collection cup. Not after anything specific, but if we do catch anything, I do have USB air pump from Aquarium Co-op, as well as a net. And then I got some water shoes too, if we want to get real mucky and dirty. First things first, we're just going to clean up the area a little bit. I don't know about you guys, but I was always taught to leave the area a little bit better than what we found it. Um, it's not totally trashed over here, but looks like some trash got out, so do our part and uh clean up the area as we as we collect if you know what kind of lily pads these are or if they're uh, native or invasive down here in florida let me know um i don't see them everywhere and i don't i don't think they're i don't think they're native but i mean this lake sure has plenty of them So I wanted to stop at this spot because I saw some movement over here. Uh, there's definitely gonna be fish in here. Just not sure what. Uh, I can see, you know, the top of the water. Not sure if you can catch it up on camera, but all that little movement kind of popping at the top of the water. That's all definitely uh, fish activity. take our sunglasses off in order to see properly first scoop of the day let's see what it looks like definitely have some fish it looks to be some gambusia which is also like the mosquito fish this is a mosquito fish or what they call a gambusia affinis i believe the scientific name is this is like the most common fish that you see out here when you're a kid and you're all you know, your kids say oh look at all those minnows and whatever that's usually these guys i'm not sure if they are actually native to here or not. They actually will introduce them on purpose in order to get rid of mosquitoes, hence the name mosquito fish. I just took a swipe over here near these lily pads and we came up with a little uh, sunfish or bluegill or not really sure. This guy's shining, kind of got these stripes on him. Not as much purple as I've seen, but some blue. Really kind of a big eye. Really neat to see these. Kind of cool to catch them in the net. Um, I think these grow out to be some sort of panfish, but we're gonna release them. I've been moving down the shore a little bit and uh, wasn't expecting this, but we just caught a fish for the first time ever. Now, I'm not sure what this is. Um, I'm, if I had a guess, I think it's a black, black acara. Let me know in the comments down below. It's kind of, it's kind of uh, in the sunlight, it's really purplish. Uh, it doesn't look like a bluegill or something like that. Now, I could be totally wrong, but I'm pretty sure this is an invasive cichlid species and not some type of native uh panfish bluegill sunfish etc etc i'm not an expert you let me know in the comments below either way really cool and exciting to find a new fish out here okay this is crazy guys we have a whole colony these guys are breeding or something i'm not sure what these are this one looks beautiful right i think these are black acaros this one's bigger i still got the other one in the collection cup but holy moly this guy's shining I'm getting bit up. I gotta uh, put my water shoes on. I'm being lazy with my sandals. Oh wow, guys. I'm not sure if this is uh, coming through, but look at that fish. That's just a wild caught fish at this random lake pond, whatever you want to call it. And uh, it's pretty neat. We got him in the collection cup too, him or her. This one is bigger. I think it's the same species. Similar shape, much more color on this one. 
wasn't expecting, really wasn't that expecting to find much. I was gonna come out here and isolate myself and just kind of, you know, reconnect myself with nature and boom, kind of neat. Thought I'd find a bunch of gambusia to be honest. And I'd be sitting here talking about gambusia, gambusia, and maybe not even release this video. <laughs> Um, which is how it goes sometimes guys like a lot of uh, I've filmed a lot that has never made it for one reason or another um, but it's always nice to get out here and kind of combine the two know that it's something that I'm enjoying myself but then also hopefully you guys will get to enjoy when I put the product out there because uh, that's always the ultimate goal you know I don't do things that I don't enjoy because uh, I don't feel like I could like fake it or come across as genuine and I hope that when I get out here and, and geek out on this stuff you guys kind of relate and I know a lot of you guys in different parts of the country or world don't get to experience this and I'm not gonna lie I take it for granted sometimes so coming out here and getting to share with you guys regardless of whether it's these kind of times or not it's just nice because it's it's grounding and it, I get to enjoy it but it reminds me that you know be thankful because not everyone can just, you know, get out here. Ooh, what is that? Something is shining. A lot of muck. It's pretty fish. I think I've caught this species before, a little bigger. But in the right light, you can see like oranges and blues and all sorts of different colors. Out here at a second location, but it's not looking like it's gonna be that good. Since it's really drought right now, it's low. But the good news is I didn't have to drive that far. I mean, this location, just like a lot of the other locations are not that far from me and not that far from each other. Um, I actually know this route because of the post office. There's a post office uh, truck right there. We're not that far from the post office. When I make my weekly routes to drop off fish in the mail, so those of you that make purchases at wildfishtanks.com, I appreciate you guys. Your support really means a lot to me, so thank you very much. It really helps me keep pushing forward and forward. Uh, but speaking of that, let's move forward to the next spot. They can't all be winners, but I think the next one's gonna be. So this is actually the downtown city center, but it's right across from this beautiful lake. And I think we're gonna have some access to get into, uh, get some, uh, some fish and actually be able to, you know, get in there and scoop them up. But I'm gonna walk a little bit ways it down, share with you guys a secret as to how I know this place exists. Unfortunately, it's not because I'm hanging down at the city, city town hall too often. It's because uh, a few years back with the Pokemon Go craze, this happened to be a pretty, pretty epic spot to uh, to get some pretty neat Pokemon. So I'm not gonna lie, spent a, spent a few hours of time collecting some other things around here, but it feels good to be back collecting some uh, some actual real life stuff and uh, there's definitely some stuff moving around in here. Got kind of like a little pool, that uh, little back pool in here. There's some swans over here. I don't want to mess with swans. I don't know if you guys know, but swans are, swans are usually not nice. So we're going to keep our distance. Before I dip that, I want to show you guys, see if we can see some of these bigger fish in here. I'm not sure I'll be able to get them. I don't know if they're bass or what they are. I'll try to get some to get a closer look at what they are. But just in case I scare them away for good, I wanted to uh, show a little bit of them. All right, we got something new on the first swing. We got some, some grass shrimps. Got a little pregnant, pregnant mama. Let me readjust the camera and see if we can get a look at the it's always fun to catch these. The darkness underneath in the abdomen, that's gonna be a bunch of babies. So these things are good feeders. Um, I'm not exactly sure what species they are. Grass shrimp, ghost shrimp, whatever. They're a freshwater shrimp that, you know, people use as feeders or what have you.
Okay. Second swipe, I definitely didn't, I forgot to adjust the camera. Whoops. But it looks like we got some uh, some fish on this swipe. Ooh, okay. We got a killifish. fish. I thought we had a bunch of just um, mosquito fish, but you see this guy right here with the stripes? It's actually a pregnant female. This is the smallest live bear in the world. I actually have a colony of these guys. Um, this is something I'm considering keeping and offering at wildfishtanks.com. Let me know if you'd be interested in um, some least killifish, whether they be wild caught or, you know, tank raised by me. Like I said, that's about as big as they get. Smallest live bear in the world, pretty cool looking fish. So pretty neat, two swipes here and two new fish here. Let me readjust the camera this time before I forget. And uh, maybe we'll take a swipe over here. Let's readjust the camera over here. Some fireworks and a bunch of birds just scattered. And some more fireworks, interesting. Let's keep it moseying down and see if we can't find some more, some more cool stuff. There's a school of something, probably just uh, Gambusia. I'm not sure how well that's coming up on the camera here. You can see them kind of all moving. It's just interesting, I always, it's funny to think, you know, as a kid, I would just think minnows, 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 like everything's just a minnow. Now I know those are like gambusia. And these are actually a lighter color than the ones that I've seen before. Uh, so I'm pretty sure they're just a gambusia, but maybe this pond or lake or because they're on this very light sandy substrate, they, uh, they color up that way. Let's see what we got in these reeds over here. What do we got here? Gambusia. We got some snail shells too. There's some kind of shale. Oh, that is a sailfin molly. We got another species. This is a female. Looks like a female. Maybe it's too. Uh, let me adjust the camera here. Looks like a female. It could be a male, just not colored up yet. Pretty cool looking fish. This is small. Probably just hiding out in the reeds, but probably good sign that there's a, a population of bigger ones out here. The males are always fun to catch, always hard to catch. Let's take a few more swipes out here and see if we can't catch some more mollies or something else new. Oh, wow. Holy crap, guys. This is a first ever. Holy crap. We may take this home. Holy crap. We got our freaking, we got an eel. An eel or a salamander or something. I'm gonna have to reach out to my friend Zane AKA species spotlight. This is cool as heck. Um, got a least keely fish, but let me go get the collection cup and get this guy in the collection cup. This is something definitely brand new, exciting stuff. Guys, this is turning out to be freaking quite the day. I think this is a salamander or a siren, like a greater siren or something. But dude, this is like, hello, this is insane. Um, there's also a tadpole right there, which we've caught before, but kind of cool. There's a least killy fish. That's the one right there. It's another female least killy fish. And um, that is a, um, a gambusia. A, the big one swimming around there is a mosquito fish. But literally guys, that was one scoop. We had a few more mosquito fish and stuff, but one scoop right here in these, um, in the reeds guys, right here. I mean, this is the dock area. And uh, we just took a few swoops and right here in the reeds, we picked up this cool, little like i said i believe it's a they call it a siren never have uh, seen one of these ever before um i believe uh, species spotlight zane has collected them before i think they only take live foods which i do have plenty of supply of live foods but how cool is this guys let me know below if you ever kept like an axolotl or something like this some type of uh salamander but what just a kind of funky funky blip in the evolutionary chain funky looking dude back home in the fish cave and that was one of the best times i've had doing anything in a long time thanks for joining me on the journey more than i could have asked for i can't believe we caught a siren 
as well as an Akara, multiple Akara, fish that we've never seen before. Had very low expectations, just wanted to get out, explore some new places. Hit that subscribe button and join the Fish Cave crew if you haven't already. Smash that like button below. Go ahead and check out some other collecting videos right there. Some other wild fish tank antics right there. As always, stay positive and stay passionate. Go ahead and collect out. Go ahead and collect out. Oh man, I need to get inside. I'm getting, need some more water.